Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are going to be doing the 2013 AP Calculus Free Response. So we're going to be starting it. And here's question number one. Again, this is section, this is the part A, which is the graphing calculator part. So on a certain workday, uh, let me switch to drawing. On a certain workday, the rate in tons per hour at which unprocessed gravel arrives at a gravel processing plant is modeled by G of T is equal to this. Where T is measured in hours, okay, at the beginning of the workday, plant has 500, um, hang on, I feel like I've done this one, so I just want to confirm, nope, okay, sorry. I, I, you know, I, I had to check. I, I felt like I've read this problem before. I might have done these problems before. I shouldn't be too surprised because I, I, when I tutor, I go through a lot of these questions with people. So um, I probably have seen this question before. It just sounded familiar. At the beginning of the workday, the plant has 500 tons of unprocessed gravel. During the hours of operation, the plant processes gravel at a constant rate of 100 tons per hour. Using correct units, interpret your answer in context of the problem or find G prime of five. So, um, this is the rate in tons per hour. So G, G, so let's just compute um, G prime. So for A, G prime of five. Um, first, let's just compute the derivative. G prime of T, derivative of 90 is zero. 45, the derivative of co 45 stays, the derivative of cosine is um, negative sine t squared over 18. But since the inside isn't t, uh, I got to multiply by chain rule 2t, the derivative of the inside, which would be 2t over 18. Okay, so then when I plug in 5, do this one, oops, um, negative 45 times sine of uh, 25 over 18 times 10 over 18. So I get minus 24.588. And this is the rate of change of G. G is uh, tons per hour, so this would be tons per hour squared. This is the rate at which the, the processing is changing. This is the rate of change of the amount that they're processing, right? So rate of change. So they're so basically whatever rate that they're processing at 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 five at five hours, it's going down in terms of how much they're processing per hour. Does that make sense? Okay. Find the total amount of unprocessed gravel that arrives at the plant during the hours. Okay. So, um, oh, actually, this is the rate at which the the arrival amount arrival rate is changing. So find the total amount of unprocessed gravel that arrives at the plant during the hours of operation. So the total amount of, since this is the rate, I want the total amount, okay, of G of T, DT. And I'm integrating over, let's see, um, that arrives at the plant. So this is the arrival, um, hours of operation from zero to eight. There you go, that's what I was looking for. So the integral is 0 to 8, 90 plus 45 cosine t squared over 18 dt. Okay, so I'm going to do g of x is equal to 90 plus 45 cosine x squared over 18. Oops, squared divided by 18. Okay, so that I've defined that. Now I want the integral of g from 0 to 8. eight. So this is 825.551 tons of gravel. Okay. C is, is the amount of unprocessed gravel to plant increasing 
or decreasing at time t equals five hours. Show the work to least here Ansel. Um, so g of five would be the is the amount that's arriving. Okay, so g of five is ninety plus forty five cosine twenty five over eighteen. So because I made this nice and easy, I could do g of uh, five capital G of 5 and that's equal to 98.141 tons per hour this is how much is arriving which is less than how much it's processing right it's processing a hundred tons per hour so that means the amount of gravel so the amount is decreasing because if I'm I, basically what's coming in is 98 tons per hour and what's leaving or what's being processed is 100 tons per hour. So that's decreasing. Okay, and then D, what is the maximum amount of unprocessed gravel? So the maximum amount of unprocessed gravel. Okay, so um, during the hours of operation. So the amount of gravel like we kind of did before, is the integral of g of t dt. I'm going to change the variable because um, I'm using t here, and so it's kind of it can be kind of confusing, um, which is why they always do like a variable change here, sometimes. Um, and it doesn't matter; you can use any letter if you want. Dx. So this is the amount of time amount of gravel that has arrived between zero and t. And then I have to subtract amount the amount that's been processed after t hours, which is 100 times t, right? Or the integral of 100 dt. Okay, so um, when do I have the maximum amount? The maximum amount is when the derivative of a of t is equal to zero. Well, okay, so for the absolute maximum, I have to look at the at the at the I have to look at all potential um, relative uh, maximums. And that well, as well as have to check the endpoints. For relative maximums, it's when this derivative is zero. By fundamental theorem of calculus, the derivative of this is just g of t minus 100. So I want to know when um, g of t is equal to 100, or g of t minus 100 is zero. I wonder if this thing can solve something like that. Um, solve g of x equals 100. No, nope, doesn't like that. G of x minus 100 equals 0. Doesn't like that either. OK, well, I'm just going to plot g of x then. There it is. Now between zero and eight, it looks like it crosses here. So I want, um, how do I trace this thing? Show trace. So when it equals a hundred is about there. Um, sorry, I'm having a little bit of a problem doing this. Why don't we plot g of x minus 100. So I'm going to plot this green one instead and get rid of this. And then here I could have it tell me when this is 0. So I have, and that happens by my calculator as t equals 4.923. Now between zero and eight hours, that's the only time it crosses there. So that's the one I gotta check. So now I wanna check A of zero, A of 4.923, and A of eight. The zero and eight are the end bounds, right? Zero and eight hours. And then this is my um, local, let's see, it goes from, pop yeah, this would be a local maximum. So I gotta see which one's the largest. A of zero is how much we start off with. Um, plant has 500 tons. Oh, I didn't, um, 
Uh, no, that's right. Okay, so that's 500. A of 8 is e doing this integral. So let's do, and then let's do integral of g from 0 to 4.923. This is 627.676. And then integral of g between 0 and 8. Oh, 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 uh, I forgot that. Uh, let me let me do that other one. It's the integral g from 0 and 4.923. But I got to subtract uh, because I got to plug it into this formula. I got to slap 100 times 4.923 yeah what is wrong why are you having a problem with this oh it's I at least a lowercase g okay so this is not that it's actually 135.376 oh actually I, I, I forgot I gotta add 500 to this man okay so 135. Point, so that would be 635.376. Okay. So so what 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 what's happened here is I didn't set this up quite correctly. My equation here. This is the amount that arrives. This is the amount that's processed, and this is the amount we started off with. That's kind of like how you kind of think. I started with 500. I got to add in the amount that arrived. I got to subtract the amount that leaves. That's kind of how I think of it. And so a of zero. Is 500 and then now I gotta do of 8 g 0 8 um, minus 100 times 8 plus 500 and that would be 525.551 so this is the maximum amount at that time so 635.376 Okay, all right, so we finished that one. So let's take a look at the scoring guidelines and let me zoom in on this so we can see this a little better. Um, is the, gra the rate at which gravel is arriving is decreasing by 24.588, that's right. 825, is that what I got? 825, good. Uh, that's let, so the rate which is, is decreasing is decreasing. That's the key right there, decreasing. Um, and the amount is 500, 635, and 525. So I did 500, 635, and 525. So, yep. All right. Very good. So thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next. Um, we'll do number two here next. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.